Decoding. Decoding is blending individual sounds together. When we're reading a word, we're automatically seeing what sounds are in the word, what order they're in, blending them together and reading that word. And it happens just lightning fast when we do it. So it doesn't seem like there's any effort and that's because we have automaticity with it. So what we wanna know is where our learners are automatic and where they're almost automatic with their decoding skills. So we have a decoding quick check where we'll find out where the learner is with automaticity. The goal of this quick check is to find out where the learner is about 95% accurate so you can easily find materials at that level. And I'm providing materials for you that we will get into a later in this section. So the quick check. What you're gonna do is you're going to, on each section, just have the learner read the words. Are they automatic or are they not automatic? Can they read them accurately or not accurately? The first section is consonant, vowel, consonant, and you don't need to know what all that means. You just have to see number one, number two. So we're going with the simplest words to more complicated words. Most kids will know open syllables if they were able to read number two, CC, VCC. Open syllable is just a syllable with one vowel and the vowel is at the very end. And so it says its name. And then we're going into magic E, regular double vowels. I wanna point out two things. One, the Y, when it says a vowel sound, it counts as a vowel. The W counts as a vowel only when it's in the combination OW. The regular double vowels are when there's two vowels and it says the first vowel's name. And that happens about 50% of the time. The other regular vowels create something brand new and we'll get there. So number five is regular double vowels. Number six are R controlled vowels. Ignore the fact that number seven is crossed out in part of this video and do number seven, adding syllables together. This is where we're really starting to put the syllables together and read some longer words. And it's quite fun for a lot of the kids. Number eight are constant LE endings. And again, you don't need to know any of that. All you need to know is number eight. Number nine is the irregular double vowels where they say something brand new. And again, the Y when it says a vowel sound counts as a vowel and the W counts as a vowel in OW. Finally, number 10, huge words. And if your learner is reading those huge words, they're fine. You don't need the materials I'm providing you. You'll find plenty of library books that they're almost automatic with. So the way you're gonna do this quick check is you're focusing on time and you're focusing on accuracy. So if you're on the first one, number one, what you're gonna do is ask the learner to read the words they can read. And you can tell them that they're, you're just seeing what they already know. You're not interested in the words they don't know, just in the words they do know. So if they wanna skip words, they can. They just have to say skip so you know what word they're looking at. And for example, up here, can, fox, red, vim. I put checks over them because they were read quickly, automatically, and accurately. Job, I put a little clock over. That's my symbol for it took them time to read it. Now you might create a different symbol for that, but you wanna pay attention to, did they read it quickly and accurately? Check. Did they take time? J, a, uh, b, did they sound it out? Did they just look at it and think for a long time? job, right? Then you want to mark that they took time. Hub, they got. Web, when I put a question mark, that means I didn't hear what the learner said. Either they were mumbling, I wasn't paying attention, they were being too quiet. So I just put a question mark over it. So at the end, when they're done reading that set of words, I can go back and say, oh, I didn't quite hear that one. I think I was distracted. Would you read that one again for me? And sometimes if I still can't understand what they're saying, I'll say, do you know what that word means? And then you can kind of get the idea of whether they were saying the correct word or not. So big, sun, correct, correct. Sometimes it's, if it's a BD reversal, because kids do that, sometimes I'll just write a B over the D so I know that it's a BD reversal, because if that, those are the only errors they're making, then I might not count them and just go to the next section to see how they do on the next section. And if they just can't read a word or they skip a word, then just cross it out. So first they're gonna read the words and if they do that 
quickly and accurately, then have them read those sentences at the bottom. If they do all that quickly and accurately, you go to the next section of the assessment. So the parts that you need to remember is check marks mean they got it. A clock or something like a clock means they took time. A question mark means you didn't hear it, you need to go back to it and cross it out if they don't know it or didn't say it or skipped it. The phonics quick check in action. So is the learner automatic and fluent and only missed one or two words? Go to the next section. Is the learner really close to being automatic and maybe missed a little bit more than one or two words? Go to the next section, because sometimes a learner will kind of be almost fluent with more than one section. And if they're almost fluent, you can go to the highest section where they're almost fluent. Did the learner sound out or miss more than two or three words? Are they not almost fluent? You might want to go back and take the section before that to be the section, the number that you work on and take the materials from that area. Because you want to take materials from an area where they are about 95, 90, 95% correct. Remember the goal of the phonics quick check. This is not an assessment. You're not leveling the kids reading. It's just so that you can find where the learner is about 95% accuracy so you can easily find and print materials to use at their level.